Denver, once ravaged by nuclear war, suffered again as the satellite-launched warhead plummeted to Earth. Dogs, salvagers, buildings, everything was incinerated by the atomic fire. Only a few hardy mutant cockroaches survived the blast. With the deaths of the NCR salvagers, the dogs completely overtake Denver. Though desperate wastelanders brave its borders from time to time in order to scavenge materials from the old world city, the city belongs to the dogs and they aggressively defend it against intruders. Isolated from NCR and other groups, the salvagers of Denver eventually die or leave their claims in despair. The dogs roam freely through the town. Though desperate wastelanders brave its borders from time to time in order to scavenge materials from the old world city, the city belongs to the dogs and they aggressively defend it against intruders. With ties re-established between NCR and its Denver salvagers and the dog threat eliminated, the salvager camp becomes the foundation for a fortified area in Denver. Over time, more salvagers come to the city and establish claims and the new camp becomes a true fort. The original salvagers buy off their sentences, sell their claims, and move west, moderately wealthy for their years of hard work. Though the Denver salvagers were able to establish trade ties with NCR, the threat of the dogs and the great distance to Hoover Dam eventually do in their small camp before it gets a chance to benefit from the arrangement. The dogs roam freely through the town. Though desperate wastelanders brave its borders from time to time in order to scavenge materials from the old world city, the city belongs to the dogs and they aggressively defend it against intruders. With ties re-established between NCR and its Denver salvagers and the dog threat eliminated, the train station becomes the foundation for a fortified area in Denver. Over time, more salvagers come to the city and stake claims, and Union Station becomes a fort within the city limits. The original salvagers buy off their sentences, sell their claims, and move west, moderately wealthy for their years of hard work. With ties re-established between NCR and its Denver salvagers, the train station becomes the foundation for a fortified area in Denver. Salvagers and soldiers from Hoover Dam drive back the dog packs, fortify Union Station, and stake claims in the city. The original salvagers buy off their sentences, sell their claims, and move west, moderately wealthy for their years of hard work. In time, Fort Denver becomes an actual town. Without the strong support of NCR, the Denver salvagers fall prey to attacks by the ghouls of the reservation, hungry for its old world resources. The ghouls take over Denver, fortify Union Station, and mine its resources to further their agenda in the wasteland. 